Our brain is responsible for many things, like determining when to speak and when to move a body part. But how can we use the brain to become a full-fledged superhero? First, we need to understand how the brain works. There are two main parts of the brain, the unconscious mind and the conscious mind. The unconscious mind is really responsible for things we don't know what we're doing, like breathing. You probably, didn't, you probably weren't aware that you were breathing right now until I told it to you guys. Or you weren't, didn't notice your back against the chair or your feet on the ground. That's amazing, right? You didn't even know that's happening, but yet yeah, it's happening. On the other hand, there's the conscious mind. The conscious mind is analytical, which means it analyzes the data and everything. It's sequential, so it creates a sequence of everything. It's cognitive, so it's responsible for your thinking, your risk taking. It has limited focus, so your conscious mind goes like, ah, 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 ah. And it directs outcomes. It controls your thinking, it helps you walk, and it's more logical and deliberate. Whereas the unconscious mind is unlimited, expansive, active while sleeping and dreaming. It's simultaneous. It controls feelings. It's responsible for involuntary movement. So I'm moving my arm, my unconscious mind is doing that. I'm breathing, my, uh, my unconscious mind is doing that. Then there's the heart beating, unconscious mind responsible for that. Unconscious mind knows solutions to the problems we cannot solve consciously. Con unconscious mind is very intuitive, very creative. A superhero must remember the most important rule. The brain is a muscle and needs to be exercised daily to grow as much as much as you can. You have to work on yourself physically and mentally. I need to work yourself internally as well.